أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. In the tradition which we want to look at today for the thought of this week, we focus our words on the statement of the Messenger of Allah, the Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him and his family, in which he gave some advice, some guidance to the commander of the faithful, Imam Ali, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, and obviously as an extension to you and I today. Now, as a preamble, we see that in Islam that we have been requested, if not obligated, to do whatever it is to preserve our life. Not that we are trying to flee away from death or cheat death, so to speak, but rather that we try to use the life of this world to build a better society, a better world uh, in which we can implement the uh, code of Islam and also obviously to better our next life in the world to come. Now, there are many traditions that talk about the importance of self-preservation, but the following tradition is really interesting and you'll see this when we re uh, review the actual text of the hadith, how the Prophet speaks to the commander of the faithful and the guidance that he gives them and it shows us that to preserve the self is an obligation for each and every single believer and sometimes that he shows us that this obligation is not only for a other world reward but also for the reward or for the life of this temporal world and in this tradition the prophet says the following to imam ali o ali the one who refrains from drinking alcohol for other than god he will find that god will quench his th thirst with a sweet nectar of paradise Ali replied, if he leaves it for other than God? The Prophet replied to him, yes, if he leaves it to safeguard his personal health, that God will be thankful for that. So we see that this interesting hadith which comes to us from the Messenger of Allah in his conversation with his cousin and his brother and his successor, he tells the commander of the faithful that a person who were to leave alcohol for other than the sake of Allah. Now we know as Muslims that everything that we tend to do is for the sake of Allah, for uh, the pleasure of Allah, to earn His good pleasure. But here the Messenger of Allah says, no, that if you left alcohol, if a person, generally speaking, leaves alcohol for not the sake of Allah, but for the sake of his own health, to preserve himself, then this is where Allah will give him the grand reward. And from this and from the commentary our scholars have offered on this particular tradition, they tell us of the importance that we have to take care of our health. And yes, we do things for the sake of Allah, but here the Messenger of Allah is showing us that even if one were to do something or keep away from something to preserve their own health in this world, that this actually is also uh, one of the reasons, one of the things for which Allah will reward that individual. And so, as believers, we obviously appreciate that alcohol and any form of intoxicant, whether it is injected or smoked or, uh, or inhaled or whatever it is, is a prohibition within the religion of Islam. Uh, it is something which we need to keep away from. We're told that if we imbibe in alcohol, for example, that our prayers are not accepted. Uh, but we need to do so not only for the sake of Allah to keep uh, to follow his commandments but as the messenger of Allah has told the commander of the faithful that to also do so to protect one's health because the health is what we use to build this world and more importantly to build our life in our next world. So we close and we ask Allah that we are all given the ability to keep away from what is prohibited, what will cause us harm, what will cause us damage both in this world and also in the life to come. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.